welcome back to Mayor's Minutes. And this is Madison's Mayor, Bob Courtney. You've got a cool things to talk about today, too, don't you? There are always lots of things going there on is. in Madison, Indiana. More than we can actually cover in the time that you're here. That's so. true. Very true. That's okay. We'll cover the most of it. We've got a lot of things to talk about yeah. and just excited. And again, I'm honored to be Madison's mayor and uh, leading us through you know, uh, challenging times, but also looking forward to the future and making sure that we do everything we can to uh, improve the quality of life in Madison. That's awesome. So, And to go along with that, You've been actually tweaking the budget to where you can keep a little more, a few more statistics about each department to where it... Well, we're a data-driven administration, and, right. and I, I said that early on, which is we're going to make uh, decisions based upon data. Capturing the data has been a bit of a challenge because we've had to build those systems uh, uh, inside uh, our current accounting infrastructure in order to extract that information, but we're making progress, and I'm optimistic that... 2021 is going to not only see uh, a pretty strong budget where we're dedicating more toward roads and sidewalks and quality of life investments, but we're going to do things more effectively. And uh, we are actually doing an operational review now of several facets of our parks department, and that's going to lead us to make better decisions. And when we make better decisions or data-driven decisions, then that actually is going to result in stronger investment for the community. And being able to keep those statistics and all that data, you actually switched to a new program so that you could keep things a little more accurate. Well, we're, we're doing a lot of things manual, manually right, right now, uh, but we are redesigning the City of Madison's website to right. be more user-friendly, more informative, more transparent. Uh, we're actually taking the Parks Department onto a brand new technology platform yes. that's go called RecDesk, which is going to allow us to uh, do um, online registrations, credit card payments, we can, you know, reserve tea times, right. campground spaces. People can sign up and pay for different leagues that their their children might be participating in. It's all about bringing the efficiencies mm -hmm. uh, to the community. But at the same time, when we bring those efficiencies, we're also getting data and information that helps us make better decisions. Well, it makes you understand which direction you need to go. Sometimes you think it's one way, and you find out that the actual community is pushing it another. True. So that makes a difference. So we just spent the last three months doing our 2021 budget. Right. It's about a $12.5 million budget, excluding some of the you know separate corporations that the city owns and operates. Uh, the operational budget's $12.5 million. It's up about 2.5%. But we've done some things differently inside that budget, and that's where we have prioritized things a little, a little bit more strategically so that we can invest in, in more roads and sidewalks in particular. So sidewalk paving, uh, widening of different roads, for example. We've got to do some things that improve drainage. So there's a lot of right. infrastructure investments embedded. And some of that stuff's budget. already started, right? Some of it's already started because uh, we had some funds that we had held back mm -hmm. uh, to, that we were able to work on now. So uh, uh, the, the first round of the Community Crossings grant is, is right. underway. That's a $1.4 million paving, sidewalk, gutter project, one of the largest in the city's history. We're applying for around two of that. Anything that we can do to leverage the city's dollars right. so that they go further and they're more impactful, we're doing. Now, when will the community start seeing people, um, the road department working on the curbs? And it's all right. It's been going on for probably the last uh, six to eight weeks, right. frankly, so all across the city. And in addition, I mean, you'll see lots of new investment being uh, made downtown in our targeted neighborhood right. revitalization program as well. So lots of historic structures that, you know, frankly, were blighted, uh, destined maybe to... Um, you know, be demolished because right. of neglect that are now being returned back to uh, residential property again. And those investments in our neighborhoods improves the quality of life for all of our neighborhoods and makes for a stronger city. So, you know, we're very, very uh, keen on saying clean, safe, and beautiful. And so our investment is going to be about about uh, attracting private capital, right. making the Ma Madison the safest community it can be, and improving the quality of life for all the people that live, work, uh, and come here as tourists. And you have several houses that you've already done that with downtown. We have uh, been awarding more PACE grants right. just this year mm -hmm. than in its entire history. That's, so that's amazing. Uh, bigger, better, bolder is, is also an, another one of our mantra, which is we want to be making impact on our neighborhoods. Right. When it looks like you are. So. We are. I think we are, too. Now, with all that, we also have this month fire prevention. How is the city and the mayor taking care of fire prevention month? What are well, some of the activities? Public safety is priority number one for us. Yes. Uh, this week is fire prevention week. 
Normally, there's also a national night out uh, that would have occurred during the summer mm -hmm. uh, to really bring the community together uh, with our public safety officials. Right. So we're combining that this weekend. So all week this week is public safety week. But this weekend, okay. uh, we're actually having a, a, a this week is fire prevention, prevention week, week, but this weekend, we're doing some things with our, with our fire department that are pretty exciting. So we're gonna have water ball fight, for example. We're gonna be grilling out hot dogs. Uh, I understand that Chase and Marshall from the Paw Patrol are also gonna be there. Oh, uh, they're gonna be there to help entertain, entertain yeah. the kids. There's gonna be jumpy houses. There's gonna be lots of information uh, about fire prevention, uh, carbon monoxide detectors yes. and smoke detectors, all free. So we wanna get out and get, uh, get to the community and help them. Um, really uh, prevent prevent fires. Now, with all the things you do have going on downtown in Madison and, and up on the hill in the city limits, there's a way for people to volunteer also. So how can they do that right. if they want well, to volunteer? One of the things that we introduced last night that Hannah Fagan, our community yes. relations director, has been working on is a, a volunteer portal that's connected to our website. It'll develop and get more sophisticated but right now, if you go on our website and you look under community, you'll see a drop down that says volunteer. And there is uh, 29 boards and committees that we're oh, frequently wow. finding volunteers to appoint to those right. committees. They're all very, very important. But uh, there's also tons of things that go on across the city, particularly on beautification projects or when we're doing festivals. Oh, yes. And we need, uh, we need a lot of volunteers and, and a lot of people are constantly asking, how do I get involved? And it's been, um, it's just been a, a bit of a fragmented process. So we said, let's bring some structure to volunteer coordination. Yes. And that's what we're attempting to do with this new volunteer portal. Well, that makes it easier for the people that are thinking about it, but don't want anybody to know yet. You know, they haven't really right. put their foot in the ring so that they can go look at it and decide, well, I thought I'd want to do this one, but I think I'd rather do this one. I'll, I'll call well, tomorrow. And this so is going can... to be a, an evolutionary process. Mm -hmm. We're going to get more sophisticated and really try to understand what your interest might be, because uh, everybody's got contributions to make, and we want to make sure we take the people with the right skill set right. and match them up with the right objective for the city. But uh, we can't do it ourselves. Leveraging all the resources of the city no. is, is, a, is very, very important to us, and that's why we have a call out constantly. Yes. And every time we ask for volunteers, uh, either for you know their, their personal resources or financial resources, right. we have a very charitable community, yes. and that's really what makes the quality of life here in Madison so awesome. I think people care in Madison. That makes it is, sense. Absolutely. And they, they take pride in it, too. Madison and the entire county, Jefferson mm -hmm. County, and as well as Trimble County right across yeah. the river. I mean, we're really, you know, we're really one larger, we big, are. broader, greater, greater community. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the greater community makes the community great. It does. So with all this volunteer work, you also have a holiday event coming up. There's going to be some new things happening in Madison for the holidays. What's all well, that? Well, I hope what the community um, has observed is that we've not pressed the pause button on any of the no. City of Madison <laughs> sponsored events. Uh, it really started and got into full gear 4th of July weekend when we worked with Main Street Organization, mm -hmm. Visit Madison, the Board of Tourism, Chamber, all of our tourism partners and businesses to really bring something unique to downtown uh, after Regatta unfortunately canceled, so we had the fireworks show. But we've really just let in after that and uh, recently we had we had uh, the air show out at the Madison Municipal Airport which was strongly attended. The weekend prior to that we had the, um, the vintage hydroplane, mm -hmm. five to the five, which was really, really well attended. And that's bringing a lot of business to our community, but it's also enhancing the quality of life. Right. Now what we're doing is approaching Halloween. So uh, drive by, drive down Main Street, you'll see some very, very unique uh, decorations you've never seen before. I will say that I work with some extremely creative people who love the holidays and they're sharing that with you. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as we do. And then after, after we'll have a Halloween festival on right. Halloween, along with safe trick or treating uh, activities. Uh, and then after that, we'll be we'll be uh, moving into Thanksgiving and Christmas. So yes. the city of Madison has just a fantastic quality of life, and uh, I'm grateful for everybody I work with because it's their personal investment that right. they're making to make Madison fantastic for everybody else to enjoy. 
Well, I thought it was very unique when I came in this morning, and there's spiders all over City Hall, and I don't mean I don't mean little spiders. They're they're as big as this room. So you've got it looks a, like an City Hall. It looks like City Hall has been uh, attacked by giant spiders, um, but it and it looks really really great and creepy, mm -hmm. but in, in a cool way. And again, it just lets you know what type of energy exists inside uh, yes. City Hall, the staff, all of the city employees. They do a fantastic job, and they work extremely hard for, for the community. Well, this is awesome. I'm so glad you came in today. You're always full of information. People can't always make it to the meeting, so this is nice. They can get a, a cut-down version. Well, now I do want to put a plug in. Yes. We have a city council meeting uh, twice a month. And there's an opportunity at each one of those city council meetings for public input. Yes. I call that the City of Madison's town hall meeting that happens twice a month. And we love it when people come, people from the community yes. come in and share ideas, concerns, solutions, uh, you know, volunteering there right. to help make Madison better. Last night at city council, you know, we recognized uh, the four ladies who uh, who, who did the all the organization, uh, yeah. all the organization and fundraising and supervised right. the construction for the new Madison sports courts. It's that type of energy, excitement, organization, uh, self, selflessness, for example, that yeah. we're looking for because it's those types of things, and I'm grateful for every one of them, that's making Madison just a fantastic yeah. community to live in. Live in. Yeah, they, they do. They, and everybody seems to try really hard when they're doing stuff like that, so it makes a big difference for everybody. It does make a difference, and we're, hopefully we're making an impact uh, all across the community. And uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, as, as I'm fond of saying, we're in the problem-solving business, and business is good. But we want people to be engaged, be involved. This is your community, um, and so help, help serve if you, uh, if you have an interest in doing that, because we'd love to hear from you. Well, as you heard what Bob said, try to keep all that in mind and see if there's something you can do to help out, or if you have an idea. You know, if you're going to not like something that's happening, try to have a solution when you go to him. It's always easier if you can start somewhere fixing something instead of just complaining. So We've got great ideas, but um, the best ideas don't come from City Hall. We're good at solutions and maybe uh, helping get uh, getting things facilitated, yeah. but, but this community is very, very talented and uh, some of the greatest ideas come from all of you. Well, thanks again for coming in, Bob. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Debbie. I think everybody loves it, too. So, And we greatly appreciate our sponsors for making all this possible, and we thank you for watching.